Mr. Wasson is speaking on Resolution 81-13 in opposition. Right. I'm Dr. Jamal Wasson, and I'm a licensed practitioner for mental health and substance abuse in the state of Hawaii. I'm also the Department of Transportation Substance Abuse Professional. You know, uh, uh, there's a real concern here. They've already screwed the medical marijuana issue up, and because the American Medical Association is real clear on that, because it's scheduled one drug, there's only been 300 or 20 studies done that actually can prove any real significance for medical marijuana. So we're still behind on that, and we have so many people that are already already using medical marijuana like the gentleman here said to get high. 350 people who use it for the right reasons for cancer, multiple sclerosis, or certain chronic pains or AIDS. That's all we got. Like 350 out of almost 11,000. This is ridiculous. So now what we're about to do is legalize marijuana. We're sending out another message. Because I get people right now who come in for a treatment that get out of jail they go straight down, get the medical marijuana certificate, and they say, I'm good to go. I got people who abuse their children, don't go to work, who smoke medical marijuana, they get busted, they get their certificate that says, oh, I'm legal now. That does not meet the criteria for some abuse at all because they are actually addicted or abusing. However, once they get that card, they say, well, now I've got this card that says I'm actually okay. Now, you can't prescribe medical marijuana because you can't get the dosage or the time or amount of condition to be used. And that's the AMA, that's the American Medical Association rule. You cannot prescribe this. What do they do? They're recommending it. So therefore, people are actually misusing that. We know that. Now we're going to say we're going to legalize it. Or not necessarily legalize, but decriminalize it. A thousand, you know, we can use. A uh, thousand dollar fine. Hey, people are already doing it. That's just a get out of, out of jail free card right there. That means now I'll pay you a thousand dollars and I'll just get smart. I won't do that. Do you know that over 50% of our children, of the people using marijuana, are adolescents? They did a study in New Zealand that says from the age of 13 to 38, they did a study, a 35-year, 25-year longitudinal study that shows it's an eight-point drop in the cognitive abilities for adolescents. What are we going to do to our kids? We've already got people now saying it's not a problem. So they're smoking with their, with their family members. It's not a problem. We're saying, hey, it really isn't a problem because you know what? You're going to find $1,000. It's really okay. So we're color our highways. We've already done that with alcohol. We have, we say, well, well, it doesn't cause a pulmonary respiratory problem. That's not true. They don't smoke enough yet to have real studies done on that. There's only 300 to 20 studies, clinical studies actually done. And they are saying it does cause a problem. So Doctor? I'll go ahead and summarize by saying this. If, there's an old saying, if only we knew now, then what we know now, we won't do this. Well, we're here, we're here right then. This is the then right now. Please don't summarize, do Doctor. Thank you. Okay? So I hope that you will not, and you will fight hard to not allow this to happen happen because it will cause a problem for our cakeys. Think about our children of Hawaii. Don't do this. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair.